Ghana is moving apace with all kinds of development, with new roads, new bridges, several hotels, and every type of investment, the country is moving in a direction never before seen. But a new and unique investment is now on the cards, and persons associated with this project are excited for its commencement. Hemp is part of the cannabis plant species, the same species that marijuana comes from. Unlike marijuana, hemp does not contain the chemical that causes people to become high after use. To establish the foundation as to why and how we got here, we must first understand that Guyana signed on to the UN Single Convention on Narcotic Drugs on June 15, 2002 and remains a signatory. This includes the hemp plant that was captured in that convention as a drug because it is from the cannabis plant. Over the years, however, hemp has been cultivated and used in many products, which has boosted several economies across the world. According to Proficient Market Insights, industrial hemp has an estimated worth of US $1.4 billion in 2022, with a projected value of US $3.3 billion by 2028. For this and many other reasons, Countries like Canada, the USA, China, and Uruguay have rapidly increased their hemp cultivation over the last few years. Recognizing its potential, the Irfan Ali-led government on Monday, August 8, 2022, successfully passed the Industrial Hemp Bill 2022. The bill provides for the cultivating and manufacturing of industrial hemp and hemp-related products and for the establishment of the Guyana Industrial Hemp Regulatory Authority. We sat down with Pride Bacchus, project consultant of the Guyana Hemp Association, to hear his thoughts on what can be a revolutionary move for Guyana. We are very pleased with the present administration's approach to hemp, the Guyana Hemp Association. We petitioned Parliament in 2016, I think it was in April of 2016, for industrial hemp to be an additional agricultural crop in Guyana, and we were denied. So, seeing the PPP government pushing it forward is a great step. Bacchus pointed out that one of the greatest benefits of hemp cultivation is the renewed nutrients it brings to the soil that can increase production of other crops. To do this, he said that crop rotation would be a great avenue for traditional farmers. Now, with hemp, because of the profitability, you will see people wanting to move away from traditional crops, which will cause dire consequences to our food supply in Guyana. Mm -hmm. Now, with hemp, hemp scientifically, the, the scientists the scientific parts behind hemp, it's a phytoremediary plant. Simply meaning that the root system absorbs nutrients from the bottom soil, brings it up to the top soil. So if you're a cash crop farmer, you won't have to use fertilizers. It has been proven that if you're planting, well, the numbers wouldn't be the exact numbers yeah. from what I read, but I'll just per se. Uh, if you're doing an acre of tomatoes and you're getting 80 pounds of tomatoes from your acre, if you do two crops, of hemp on your plantation on, on your your acre which would be a three month crop it's 120 days for, for hemp mm -hmm. so two crops six months and then you do go back to tomato planting and you get an additional 40 pounds uh, at least 50 percent increase in crop so let's talk about um, marijuana farmers transitioning the, the president spoke uh, extensively at the agro expo about um, the knowledge that there are marijuana farmers here and, and the fact that moving to hemp can be beneficial for them. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I think it is a good move because, I mean, we have farmers that might be investing millions of dollars into a crop that is illegal. Now you have a crop that is legal and you get paid for growing this crop. So instead of investing millions of dollars into something that Police or the soldiers could just come in any time. Like we read it in the news ever so often, burning up thousands of acres of marijuana or thousands of plants. Now, when they go in, it's hemp plants. They test the disease, hemp plants. You're paid. The project consultant went on to list the numerous products that will be offered to Guyanese following the industrialization of this commodity. Hemp is food, clothing, and shelter, basically. So, food products, value-added products. Clothing, 
value-added products. Bacchus revealed that the cultivation and use of hemp can also play a pivotal role in achieving other environmental targets set by the government. Now, hemp is such a great plant that even when you use it as a building material, it actually absorbs carbon from the atmosphere. So that would be a plus to the present administration LCD. Uh, from the medical perspective, hemp has the potential to provide an important chemical to the body called cannabinoids, also known as CBD. With CBD, what research has proven is that it actually recalibrates the brain to tell the brain, well, yo, there is a problem here and it needs to be fixed. As against using opioid-based drugs where you're just drugging that part of the brain and nullifying, actually fixing the problem. the problem. With excitement intensified even before the passage of the bill, Bacchus said that the very first steps have already been identified. The first things out of the Guyana Hemp Association will be the research on the genetics to be grown in Guyana so that Guyana could be optimal in the production area of hemp. Regions 6 and 10 will be the primary areas for cultivation, with other areas picking up production as time goes by for the further diversification of our economy. For DPI,